we get to be here and spend another morning of imaging because he gets to always have imaging we're testing. <laughs> so that's how we get to start our week. You excited? <laughs> Look at me like that. We're super excited to spend the next couple hours back there. While I get to sit up here and, I don't know, take a, take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's real excited. <laughs>
I love hearing that little squiddle 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 behind me. It cracks me up. <laughs> Time to bite the bullet and see what happened this week. Wah, wah, wah. Oh man. <sighs> Picked up 2.8 pounds, but doesn't have to kill me. That's okay. We will definitely, definitely do better this next week. And since I'm only measuring twice this month, the beginning and the end, I don't have any measurements to show you. Just that ugly, horrible number. But it won't stay there. It'll change. It'll go down. You just wait. Briar and I are meeting our friends Susie and Vixen for a walk in a different park uh, than we have walked on this channel before. So it's going to be really fun. Briar, as usual, is not super excited about the car ride portion. You can see his nose out back there. Oops, that's my window. <laughs> to help his anxiety, we have to roll down the window no matter what the weather is outside. So, because uh, that's how he feels calmer, riding in the car. So, sometimes that really kind of sucks because it's snowy and icy and stuff, and but he needs it. <laughs> uh, but, when we get there, he's going to be excited. He fought me less to get in the car this time because I think he knows that we've been doing some walks and I think he likes it. It's the whole car part. Oh, Briar. Oh, Briar. Say hi to everyone. You're okay. Hey, you're fine. <laughs> you could probably hear him breathing. He's kind of panicking a little bit, but he'll be fine. Then we'll get over there to the park and we'll have a walk with our friends. And it's going to be a lot of fun and a great way to start a Saturday, you know, um, with friendship and um, joy, uh, as, you know, make sure to get in those connections when you can, especially in these hard times. As, and um, especially, it's, it's, this is, you know, this is Mental Health Awareness Month, and this is just one thing that's really good for your mental health is making sure to connect with people that you just really care about and care about you. Um, <laughs> and if you have to stick your nose out the window, stick your nose out the window. <laughs>
done. So I told my friend at work that I would do a mile a day in November uh, with her because that's her challenge. So I said I would do the challenge as well. Um, most of my miles are inside doing like uh, walk at home uh, videos. But today I thought, let's see how many laps around the backyard it takes for me to get a mile in. So I've got my fitness tracker on. That's going to be what determines a mile. Um, so I'll start it. And when it tells me I've done a mile, then we'll be done. And we'll see how many laps that done takes. Done takes. I know words. Or not. <laughs> Let's go. This will be the start right here, Briar. This is the hour, the darkest place Dante's inferno, the devil's maze It's a good world laps or going under the 16th lap right now I think at 20 I should turn around and go the other way and how I'm, I'm afraid to stop though but I might get dizzy 16 because circling is just never good for my brain I'm afraid I'll get dizzy and fall down if I stop <laughs> but I definitely think that on lap 20 I should do the next 20 laps uh, go in the other direction just kind of change it up and I don't know change up in my brain too I don't know <laughs> so we're about to hit 17 Woohoo! 17 three more laps and then I'm gonna change it and go the other way
at 30 laps, we've gone, oops. Point seven zero. At 30 laps, we're at point seven zero. All right, Brian, let's do more. working on lap 34 right now um, I did switch directions <laughs> and at first it's kind of weird at first it kind of made me a little nauseous in the stomach uh, I think just because I'd been spinning so much in one way <sighs> 30 what did I say lap 34 I hope that's what I said 34 <laughs> don't lose count now that would suck. So I'm gonna guess it's about 40 to 42 laps um, to get in the full mile. So let's see.
27 minutes and 25 seconds to get a mile in in my backyard. So that's not bad. It's even under a half an hour. Um, and if anything had gone wrong with my foot or anything, I'm right here where I can call for help. So, <laughs> and the doggy even got to get involved. So that was a lot of fun. That was a good experiment. Uh, let's get on with more of our day. All right, so as you can see, I picked up a little bit of weight and I'm calling it Tootsie Roll weight because we <laughs> bought, we, I, we say we, it was me, I did it, a big bag of Tootsie Rolls and I have been having a lot of trouble staying out of them. So that is all on me and we will need to work on being better and saying no to the roll, no to the roll. <laughs> um, but all in all, I'm not going to feel bad about it. I feel like I don't feel bad about my week this week at all. I feel like I did all right. You know, I know that I was putting in work, but I also know where I was going wrong. So I have the ability to change that course of action. Um, which I will do. Uh, I, I'm really serious about being under 300 pounds by the end of the year. And so I know that it's not going to happen by eating Tootsie Rolls and, you know, uh, being nonchalant about the things I'm doing for myself. So we will uh, make sure to um, course correct and be better and we'll have a better week. I really truly believe that. Um, I do also know that we are in Mental Health Awareness Month. And as a lot of you may know, I have my own struggles with depression and anxiety. I live with those. And when certain things happen in life, it can often make those things even more difficult to deal with. But one thing I'm really trying to learn to do is not turn towards old habits to take care of those. So like this, past week, as I had mentioned earlier, was very emotionally heavy, very emotionally difficult. Um, and I was trying really hard to keep at what I know. Um, I journaled about it a little bit about how this particular feeling was making me want to turn to food. This particular feeling was making me want to stuff myself. Uh, with a bunch of stuff, which I do know that I did eat those Tootsie Rolls, but some of that was definitely not emotional, even though some of it was. <laughs> some of that was just being a food addict straight up. Um, but I was journaling about it and I was trying to realize those feelings and those thoughts in myself so that I didn't allow my uh, depression or my anxiety or my emotion control my food because I don't want to give those things the power to conduct what I'm doing in the other parts of my life. I don't want those issues to control what I am trying to accomplish with myself. Um, I want to be the one in control. I don't want the emotion in control. I don't want the anxiety in control and I don't want the food in control. So I am doing my best. But also I want to say that in the spirit of Mental Health Awareness Month, um, there have definitely been times that I was not okay and I wanted to remember that it was okay to not be okay. And I want to convey that to you as well, the viewer. Please know that it is definitely okay not to be okay, but you need to reach out to someone when you're not okay. Just as as I did, I have people I can talk to. So I, I did and I got those things out and was talking through them as need be. Um, so just reach out for someone. If you have um, a best friend, um, if you have a family member that you trust, a spouse that you can talk this stuff over with, um, if a therapist is also really well, um, I mean, that's what they get paid for, right? <laughs> But if you are having those moments where you're not okay, reach out. You don't need to 
take that on by yourself. You don't need to take it on silently. You don't need to try and suffer through it or put on the mask anymore. You can reach out, you can get the help, you can talk about it so that we can move towards being healthier people. We don't need to bottle this stuff inside. We just need to put it out there and be healthier people. So I was definitely working on taking the emotional things that I was going through and talking them out with people that I trust and trying to move into a better direction. I'm trying to grow as a person while also trying to shrink as a physical being. <laughs> Sorry, that was my own joke. It made me laugh. <laughs> um, but I did those steps. I was having emotional issues. I was really trying to push my depression buttons. I reached out. I talked with someone. We talked it through and we started moving me forward in a positive manner. That way I wasn't bottling it up inside. I wasn't holding on to that. I was, I was um, taking positive steps to becoming a better me. And that's that's exactly what we want to do. We want to become the best us that we can be. So we want to work on our um, physical health, on our food, on our mental health, um, all these things. We want to become stronger. We want to become uh, more positive. We want to be more full of joy. And we, you know, just all around healthy, good people. And that's what I want for you. And if you don't know where to reach out, reach out to me and I will help you find somewhere to go. Or I can help be an ear for you. Because um, I'm here. I'm here for you. Um, you guys are my family and I'm here to help you, my family. Um, I know how important it is and how sometimes we just need a person to listen to help put us back on that path. So I'm here for you guys. <laughs> um, I just want to also remind you that I have, oh, it's disappeared now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I have my November goals, right? And I'm working on staying with those. Um, my walk one mile a day was pretty good. It's going really well. Drinking a gallon of water, definitely need to continue to work on. Um, only measure twice. I didn't measure this week. Um, and staying with my monthly challenge, um, that one's been really good because uh, Get Healthy UTV is fantastic. Chris Freitag is fantastic. And I've chosen not to follow a, a calendar. I'm just kind of putting on whatever exercise sounds good for that day and following along with that exercise off Get Healthy UTV. Um, and also this week being able to get back to at least one class of my boot camp was super fantastic. Um, it made me feel good. And that was definitely on a day where I was kind of having a little bit of a rough time. Um, that day got a little bit rougher, but having had that with my family, you know, my workout family, it was very good, very helpful. That kind of workout helps me push out some emotion so that was helpful as well um helps me feel good <laughs> you know it's kind of like a legal drug those exercises right and i know i'm getting into rambling territory and i'm so sorry really i just want to tell you guys that my november while the scale didn't say i was starting out great i feel good about it so i feel like i'm doing great i'm gonna push to do great, especially the closer we get to the holidays, which I know will be hard, but I'm going to push to do well, to be well, to do great. I also wanted you guys to know what, that you don't have to be alone. If you're not okay, you don't have to be alone. Don't stuff it inside. Reach out for some help. Let's work on our mental health together. Let's work on our physical health together. Let's work on just being well-rounded, healthy people together because I'm in this journey and you are here in this journey with me and I want to be on your journey with you so as I ramble because apparently I don't really know how to do an outro very well still learning that <laughs> I'm gonna try and cut myself off
Just know that you guys are so, so important. You, individually, you, right there, you are so important. Remember that. And remember that every little step that you're doing to improve yourself is worth celebrating because it all means something. Every little step is towards that bigger goal. So it all matters. You guys are amazing. You guys bless me. You guys, I love doing this. I'm having so much fun doing this. And I love sharing my world with you guys. And I love all the comments that I read. You guys are awesome. I'm glad you're here. You bless me. You guys fill me with joy. And you help me have an outlet when I am having hard times. So thank you guys. Thank you for being wonderful. Thank you for being here. Thank you for blessing me with all of your awesomeness. Um, remember guys that I love you guys so, so much and to take care of yourselves, take care of each other, love yourselves, love each other. Remember, I care for you. You should care for you. And thank you again for making a visit here at the nest and we will see you next time. Bye.